So a bunch of you were asking questions about it. Okay, this is not an influencer challenge. Let's go like, you know, a bunch of you were asking, what do I do for <laughs> It's not that. A little bit of a backstory. So I've owned this washing machine for I think about four months now. Um, I previously had a Samsung washing machine which got spoiled. And I'm one of those people, I'm not a believer of repairing household appliances, you guys, because I had an experience with a fridge and I told myself that is not going to be my calling. And if you look around the internet, you see that the lifespan of these household appliances are usually like five years. So, um, come in my petition five years, just sayonara, my friend, because it will cost you more repairing that item than just buying a new one. So yeah, with my fridge, fridge okay, granted it was old, but it started giving me problems. And I remember every time I'd bring in a technician to repair it, it would cost me like 10,000 shillings or 7,000 shillings or 5,000 shillings. So I ended up like spending a rough amount of almost 30k by the way to just repair a fridge that was never even repaired fully because it always had problems. So the last time it got spoiled, I was like, Mimi, again, remove my money to... Huh? So I don't repair household appliances. So after that, I remember I actually bought a different fridge from this one. It was that I am single fridge, that one door fridge. <laughs> and I regretted buying that, that fridge because my previous fridge, in as much as it was old, it was bigger. It was a two door fridge. It had a freezer and this other lower half compartment. And I, was, I, I wasn't into the one door. And I like, I like freezing my food because I don't I don't like going out all the time to shop. So I like having food in the fridge, like a lot of food, especially in the freezer. So because the freezer was really small, I got rid of that fridge. And then I got this one. This one, I actually got it from Neighbors. I've had it for, I think, two years now. Yeah, and then the one hand one, it was, I was lucky because my, my sister was moving out of home. She needed a fridge. So I was like, ah, no, no, I fridge in 37k. If you can give me 20k. And that time I hadn't even stayed with that fridge for like more than three months. So it was pretty new. I got the 20k from her, uh, topped up, and then bought this one, which I love. Now, let's get on to my washing machine. The previous washing machine that I had was a Samsung 7kg. Um, when I brought in a technician to look at it, because I was just like, um, maybe, maybe, guys, they were telling me that it will cost like 40,000 to repair that washing machine. Because number one, the drum inside had cracked. Um, number two, I think the belt at the back had, was broken. Um, and then what else what else um they, they told me something about the motherboard and just replacing that motherboard alone would cost me around eighteen thousand shillings then um replacing the drum would be another like maybe fifteen thousand i was like Psh. luckily that um technician okay he was only taking one thousand bob for consultation just to come check and see and then um my other uh washing machine used to be outside the house okay not really outside <laughs> in my balcony but then my back my balcony the way it is um sometimes when it rains like it, it would drain on the washing machine when there's sun it would trauma the washing machine so i don't know if that also contributed to why my machine got spoiled i stayed without a washing machine for almost like three months because number one i didn't have that fluid money just lying around to go buy a new washing machine and number two i really wanted to do extensive research before i buy a washing machine because <laughs> this thing is expensive and i didn't want the other two affordable ones i i don't i don't want the manual one my main purpose of buying a washing machine is so that i don't work <laughs> But guys, Mimi, kushika nguo kuwasha hivi. I hit it with a passion. Hit, hit. And so this uh, machine that I have is an LG 9kg. The reason why I upgraded to a 9kg is because previously when I had a 7kg, 
there's some things I could not wash at once. Like you see, um, the other video that I that I did for my living room refresh, I washed all my curtains at once. When I had the seven kg, I'd probably have to do like two batches of washes, and I was like, I ain't got time for that. Okay. So I wanted a drum that could accommodate everything. Number one, if like I have a huge load of clothes. I could just put it in there and add wash in one wash because of course now that also conserves electricity i don't have to use a lot of power and also by the way if you're concerned about power um you can always um change your setting of wash to cold instead of using like the temperatures that are there mine goes up to 95 degrees but it's recommended to wash at 40 30 gram but sometimes if you feel like maybe you're running low on power maybe you don't have units or you don't want to spend so much on power just change your temperature settings because that's where it uses a lot of electricity okay when i went to buy my lg uh the technicians who are there they told me whether everyone was against me buying a samsung <laughs> because apparently the samsung has a belt at the back which usually breaks and sometimes the touch bells at the front they just die and there's nothing you can do to replace it there's nothing you can do to repair it and most of those technicians even the technician who came to look at my samsung washing machine was telling me the way it's better if you just buy an lg machine it's something to do with uh, this inverter direct drive i'm gonna show you because lg washing machines apparently they don't use the belt and that's why with samsung washing machines you find that even when it's washing it's a bit noisier compared to maybe lg because when i had the samsung washing machine when i'd wash my clothes up on the balcony my g everyone in the building will know this girl is doing her laundry because it, it would just be do good do good do good do good the lg it's a bit more toned down okay there's that kind of noise for the washing machine but it's a bit more toned down and i guess it's because of the inverter because it has a motor like it doesn't run on a belt you see that car drum it's not rotated with like a belt like with samsung machines so then the other reason i also got it was because it has steam and sometimes when i'm washing especially my beddings my towels i like to use the steam function that by the way will make your car electricity go up i won't lie uh you use more units when you use the steam function but i don't know for hygiene purposes it's better so yeah so that's my washing machine for you guys oh and someone asked me how i did the connection so i'm gonna show you guys oh and then one thing my cooker used to be on this side so when i got this new machine i was like mimi nijikute nimeeka washing machine yangu ko inje enye nimeunua na my hard earned money a lot a lot a lot of money uko inje inyeshewe ichapo inajua so i was just like i have to find somewhere where i can plug it in inside the house so that's why i put it here and i moved my um my cooker on this other side the only downside is because my socket for the cooker is on this side so i can't i don't know okay i don't know if i can use this normal socket to to like bake or like to use my oven that's the only downside so I, I haven't used my oven since i moved my cooker that side because i'm a bit skeptical about it but because my my gas self ignites i've just hooked it up to that um socket for self ignition unless maybe um there's a power power in it power outage yeah so that's when i can use a matchbox and stuff for the connection over here i have a plug this is where my cooker used to be of course <laughs> yeah so you have to connect it to the electricity so you have to be near an electricity like what is it called a socket because you can't use an extension for your washing machine or else you'll spoil your washing machine so it has to be directly connected to a socket um if it's not directly connected to a socket maybe you can ask your electrician to kind of like fix one for you there are those ones which you can 
fix like they can there's something they do where they wear it and then they fix like a new socket and then now for my water what i did so <laughs> i use these things to hide my my pipes because it's not looking cute to be honest yeah so there's this pipe over here this is the water inlet um and then you have the outlet my outlet now the pipe that takes out dirty water it now takes it out to my sink so it drains out all the dirty water to my sink the only downside is i cannot be having <laughs> utensils in my sink like you know when you have like dirty utensils in your sink i cannot be having that when i'm doing my laundry because of course now apple it's a flood so it's nice because it keeps me on toes because now i always have to be cleaning i can't have like a bunch just over there so so, so this is the water inlet connected to my kitchen tap so it's a bit rusty because like i told you guys where i live we use bohol water so this is what happens when you have bohol water um everything that's metal just rusts what i did is i put in this lever so with this lever what happens is if you don't want water to go into your washing machine you can always close it with this but as at the moment i'm using it to <laughs> contain this car outlet pipe because sometimes when um it's pushing water outside like when it's draining all the dirty water it usually moves and that creates a mess so i just tied it here on this lever so that when it's draining and when there's that car pressure it does not move so it just drains the water into my sink yeah so that's the connection so what you need is a direct source of water and you also need somewhere where you can plug it in for me my, my kitchen is a bit small as you can tell but i don't mind it because i'm alone so i can always squeeze into this car kitchen of mine my kitchen is literally a, <laughs> a corridor guys so even when people are telling me take us into the kitchen do a kitchen tour and all that i was just like guys <laughs> there's nothing to tour because my kitchen is just literally a corridor <laughs> i bought this from housewives paradise they sell authentic lg stuff um there and i think hot point and some of these supermarkets also carry um authentic lg stuff so you can go visit their website or go visit their shop their shop pico pale um what is, was it is it bank apple jamia mall yeah when you're just walking towards jamia mall you'll see houses paradise they sell a bunch of things washing machines fridges you know just household appliances yeah so nana badai guys thank you so much for being with me and listening to me talk a whole lot i'll see you guys later bye